Now, the Lagos state government has pledged to create policies that protect the environment and address climate change. This commitment was expressed by Gaji Omobolaji Tajuddin, the permanent secretary of the State Ministry of Environment, who was represented by Omomi Omo Demi at a policy dialogue on green jobs organized by the Inspired Youth Network's Part 2 project. Now, the project was launched three years ago to engage young people on civic issues, voter awareness, climate change and innovation. Now, Mujib Moraina, representing the Executive Secretary of the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, recognized the urgent need to transition to a more sustainable future would present both challenges and opportunities, particularly in the realm of employment. The ministry is actually, you know, very big on when it comes to climate change and environmental planning and um, we have so many projects that are ongoing in that uh, regard. And um, <clears throat> as part of the thing that the ministry is doing, we are currently working on um, commissioning a biogas plant, which is going to be powered by being here today is actually crucial for us to be part of the conversation related to developing uh, policies that's key into the uh, sustainable creation of green jobs and acquisition of skills uh, accordingly. So it's important for us as a fund to be part of this conversation because we actually have different programs that are geared towards you know, ensuring that um, our youth are skilled as far as um, uh, demand for uh, talent related, uh, related to the green economy is concerned. So uh, we are particularly interested as far as this um, conversation is concerned. Now, the policy dialogue convened discussions and a panel session where speakers advocated for climate action and explored pathways to create green jobs. However, Abiodun Ajayi, head of monitoring and evaluation at the Inspired Youth Network, cautioned that without sustainable funding, even the best climate change ideas and innovations will fail to take root. What are the policy issues that can also help them strive those policy, uh, those uh, innovations, those ideas? And then, as you can see within the audience, we have young people who are doing well in terms of, you know, they are, who have innovative ideas, who have, you know, brilliant climate ideas. We want to discuss how can we also help them strengthen and streamline all of these, you know, ideas and innovations using uh, uh using the policy to also help them you know achieve all of those things currently first of all i think we are evolving to an era of people understanding climate change and environmental practices and lagos state as a whole has been trying to invest through lsetf in the youth by making sure they encourage those of them that have ideas and innovations regarding green jobs so now it's not left for the youths out there to think outside the box. Let's all um, put the power of collaboration first and come up with something because before we can achieve anything effective, even apart from policy making, enforcement falls on the youths and those are the grassroots. Green jobs can be found anywhere, whether it's in the circular economy space or even whether just regular manufacturing. You, we can uh, start to think around, innovate around how we build, how we do business, how we uh, go about our daily lives and all these jobs that helps in this rethinking, in this reimagining. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.